What is wrong with this girl? Why do you have 500,000 swimsuits? Many little toiletries are what gets me. Yeah, you're coming up with me. I am a psycho for packing cubes. As always, we're gonna roll literally everything. Three triangle bags, hella suits. Let's see. Hello and welcome to a packing video with me. My hair is obviously darker. I went brunette. Um, so we're going to just cue the clips right from when I started getting my hair done and then bounce back to here. So I've been blonde for a long time and now honestly my natural color is pretty brunette. But I still have these like little pieces that get pretty blonde and I just want to feel like fully dark. So I don't know exactly what I'm doing to my hair today. We will see when we get there. But that's the first thing to check off. I did already get my nails done. They look so good. So I'm very excited about that. So I feel like I'm well on my way to feeling prepared. So as you can see, it was a lot lighter before and it's a much more brunette now. So now that that's done and my nails are done, which they look so freaking cute. We're going to get into the packing portion because that's the most difficult part. What this trip is all about is Grey Bandit times Anna's collection and we have tons of bikinis to pack. So that's gonna be like the main portion of what I'm packing. So if you look at me packing and you're like, what is wrong with this girl? Why do you have 500,000 swimsuits? That is why. And then most of my clothes are going to be with Grey Bandit as well. So I've already made a little pile. I'll show you what I have. And I need to go down and get my luggage. Secure the luggage. As I was down here, I wanted to grab my vitamin medicine travel bag. And I'm so excited because I got the travel packs of my AG1 drink. Thank you so much to AG1 for sponsoring today's video. And it's actually funny because the last time Greta was here, I drink AG1 every morning. And as I'm drinking it, Greta's like, I love how you literally drink this every morning. And like you talk about it, but you literally drink it every day. And I'm like, Exactly. So if you haven't heard of what AG1 is, it is more than just a greens powder. It's a nutritional drink and it genuinely has improved my digestion. When I stop taking this, I notice I'll get like the little scratches in my throat and all of that stuff. Whereas when I'm like holistically supporting my body through vitamins and minerals and everything that this provides, it makes it so much better. So I actually haven't drank my drink for today because I've been on the go. So it's super easy. You just pour eight ounces of water and then do one scoop of your powder. Voila, and then just shake it up and drink that. I feel like the taste is kind of similar to matcha. It has like that greens powder taste. But the reason I brought it up right now is I'm so excited because I have these travel packs. And so I can just bring one for each day that I'm there. And I seriously noticed a difference when I wasn't drinking these on my trips. Because like I said, I came back with a freaking tickle in my throat and I know that these benefit my body so much. I have felt so much better all around since drinking this, but if you're interested in checking it out, you can go to athleticgreens.com slash Natalie and it will be in the description box. With that link, they're giving away a year supply of their vitamin D droppers, which are so good, and five free travel packs with your first purchase. So like I said, I freaking love AG1, and I hope that you guys check them out. Now for clothing selection, and I have lots of clothes, but why is that always hard to pick out? clothes together I'm gonna pack up my jewelry but Jack Maria jewelry who I always work with is actually coming on the trip so I kind of feel like I might just leave a lot of my current jewelry at home and see what she's bringing because I know the pieces are gonna be absolutely beautiful it never hurts to have some insurance so I'll bring some of my little words project bracelets these cute little hoops from Jack Maria I think I'm going to wear my coastline color white shells as well as my coastline color white necklace and I'm gonna leave the rest empty to hopefully come home with some really cute new jewelry. Many little toiletries are what gets me. I just got in this package from Colleen Rothschild and their mini shampoo, conditioner, and hydrating serum, which I love finding a good quality hair product because there's nothing worse than going on vacation and it's like you go, you wash your hair and it feels like crap because you're using the most random stuff. 
So I'm excited to bring these. I think I might put a cap on it though and not bring like the deep conditioner and the whole nine yards. But a styling cream and all of this stuff, yeah, you're coming home with me. Where did I set my travel thing? This is my current travel bag and my biggest tip is to keep your own travel bag where you just kind of stockpile that stuff because it's been so nice on any little trips I go on that I just already have everything ready to go. I literally keep everything from an extra deodorant to body scrub, lotion, moisturizer, all of that stuff in here and it is so nice. The only thing that I'm really running low on is body wash and I am also running low in my shower, so that's gonna have to be that. I may just go ahead and pack up my Drunk Elephant and Super Goop now because I don't wanna forget those. Something I always forget and I try not to is a comb because I love to comb my hair in the shower, so I'm packing that one up now too. Hopefully this is everything that I need aside from my toothbrush and possibly a razor. This is so far the state of everything, so I just made a pile of like the shirts, the dresses, and the pants, and then other random bags. And I have my suitcase laid out, so I think it's time to pop out the packing cubes. If you've seen any of the packing videos, you know I am a psycho for packing cubes. I just got these new ones from Talking Out of Turn, and I ordered my first ones from them use them so much and so they i asked if they would give a discount code and it's natalie 10 so they're literally the cutest packing cubes and they fit so much stuff sometimes when i'm packing in one of like the big suitcases i don't want a bunch of little ones but i need some that will hold like my dresses and stuff so i have some different sizes and i'm excited to pack in them and then of course like in every video i need my triangle packing cubes for my swimsuits so i think i'm going to do a light pink, a blue, and maybe an orange. Is this gonna fit all the suits? Probably not. Three triangle bags, hella suits. Let's see. Well, it took all three bags, but I think that we have successfully succeeded in putting all of the swimsuits. Bag number two and bag number three. Let's toss these in. Perfect. Next up we have dresses and most of these are gonna be from Grey Bandit, but this is one that I haven't worn yet. It kind of ties, gives tropical vibes. I need to try on these little overalls to make sure that they work. I love this dress. I wore it in the Bahamas. And then just some other like perfect tropical prints. I'm gonna try to see if it can all fit in this little packing cube. As always, we're gonna roll literally everything. I've laid out all of my shirts. I wanted to do a bunch of simple tank tops, little tube tops, some linen things, and then I always get cold, so having a little long sleeve option and then t-shirts. But I feel like this is a good comprehensive of any tops I'd wanna wear. This is the packing cube I'm using for this one, and I feel like tops get pretty small, so I have no doubt that we're gonna get all of these in there. My pants options are a little skirt, some comfy shorts, jean shorts, a longer skirt, and some pants. And this is the packing cube I'm gonna be using. I can't find my other pretty ones right now, so it's fine. I'm gonna take a little break now because I'm hungry and I'm hot, so we will catch back in to do the rest of the stuff like workout things and beach accessories and shoes. Now that I've got a majority of my clothes done and put in there, I just compiled a little bit of an undergarment bag. So this very bright pink in there is my Free People movement set. I just like taking one of these on vacation because if I want to go on a hot girl walk, if I want to do whatever, I have that in there. And then I just have like tank tops and underwear and all that good stuff. So that's kind of the last of the clothes. And then next up for shoes, I'm literally only bringing these sandals. I've worn these all the time. They're from Lulu's. They actually have a bunch of little like pricker things in them. So maybe I should get those out, but these are super comfortable. They go with dresses. And then for if I'm on the beach or boating, it's nice to just have like a little flip flop. And then I'm going to bring my hokas, but I'm gonna wear those on the flight. So I think that's it for the shoe department. I have my toiletry bag, like you already saw. This bag, I just stuck a bunch of my like hair stuff in with my little athletic greens packet because I need like hair brush and all that good stuff. You already saw the jewelry, my sunscreen bag. I think that they're gonna have sunscreen there, but in case I need like my scalp spray and my little face thing and stuff because we do not let our skin get burnt. This is the beach bag I'm bringing on the trip. It's this Erin made backpack and I love it for any type of like adventure stuff because obviously it's a backpack. You can throw everything in there. Hair curler, sunglasses. These are my go-to. They're just my Ray-Ban ones and 
lovely. They go with everything, they're so simple. And my film camera, but I might put this in my travel bag and then makeup. So that is it for now. I'm gonna go ahead and get these in the suitcase and then try to make like a mental note. Normally I have a packing note of like all of the things that I need to bring. So I'm gonna check my phone for like an old packing note and then I feel like I'll remember, oh shoot, I was supposed to bring like whatever. Let's check that now. Actually, I'm gonna call Greta. Yeah. Hello. Greta, you sound so much deeper this morning. I just wanted to call to say, what the heck did you pack? I just packed like comfy shorts, jean shorts, swimsuits, swimsuit cover ups, flip flops. That's it. really good about the packing situation. Everything feels organized. I would say that I underpacked on this trip, honestly, because a lot of it is going to be just like swimsuits hanging out in the water. So I kind of just packed on the lighter side and I would say that I'm proud of myself for that. So I'm going to close up the suitcase now and then tomorrow when I'm heading out, I'll grab my backpack and all the things I stick in there, which is basically just like headphones, laptop, whatever. Stay tuned because the next vlog is going to be my Grand Cayman vlog. It's gonna have like so many friends, so much fun. So I can't wait for that one to come out and let me know if you have any questions. I love you guys so much.